Okay, everybody, ready to go for the last of these February challenges. They were for weekdays in February, so this is more or less the last one. I know Monday's uh, another one, but I did the, the four weeks, so here we go. Um, hi, everybody, if you're following live. Um, hi, also, if you're just pick this up on one of the replays, um, Instagram or uh, Facebook, sorry, Instagram or YouTube, early in the morning, brain dead. So um, if, you're follow, if you want to look at the previous videos, I'm there on, you can just go into the YouTube channel. You can also press subscribe to see future content. I post about fibromyalgia, yoga, chronic conditions, living with any of this, any of the long-term chronic conditions, inflammation, gut, all of that. Also um, on Instagram, I have that as well. So you can follow me there and all the past videos are there. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about balance. Uh, not so much the balance in our lives, but the physical balance. Uh, yoga in particular uh, can help with balance because we, balance isn't just about standing on one foot or you know reaching something and being able to collect it. You need to have all of your leg muscles strong. You need to have your core strong, but most importantly, you need a good sense of proprioception, which means your body knows where it is in space, uh, even you know without you being able to see where you are in space with your eyes. So this is something that yoga reinforces by doing careful movements with the breath, doing a sequence of movements or doing individual movements with, move, with you know, motion during the, the pose will help you locate your body in space as well as strengthen. So we're going to do a bit of both of that today. But first we're going to start just locating ourselves in space, in time, in our comfortable seat. You might have a block underneath your bum to tip your pelvis forward. You're going to lift your spine in a dignified way up out of your pelvis. Now, come back to your breathing and start to inhale through your nose and out through your nose to a count of four. So inhaling one, two, three, Four, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. And keep doing this and try to do it with the movement uh, because that brings the whole nervous system together. So as if we move with our breath, we're triggering the nervous system to pay attention to the body. So now just maybe get a little bit of movement into your spine. Rotate your torso. Move your torso around, back in the other direction. And again, you can do this with the breath, inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you go back. And now find your pelvis in neutral. So tip it forward and then tip it back a couple of times, forward and back and then find a more neutral position. Now bring your arms out to the sides into a cactus shape. This is where we're going to start working on our core a little bit. So start to turn gently in each direction, keeping the arms up. And do this with the breath.
one movement per breath. And you begin to feel movement all the way along your spine as it rotates. But also your body is beginning to locate itself in space. So now try closing your eyes and continuing the movement. And be aware of where your elbows are. And keeping your elbows parallel, or the upper arms parallel to the floor. Inhale, one direction, exhale, back the other direction. Now open your eyes and see are your elbows still parallel to the floor or have they gone off in all different directions? And now come back down and bring your arms to the ground for a second and then make sure your spine is straight again coming back to the base each time. Now we go onto our hands and knees. So remember hands beneath shoulders, knees right below your hips. And we're going to inhale. And exhale in a cat cow movement. So inhaling. Fill the chest, cross open the shoulders. Exhale, bring the shoulders together in front. Curl your tail under and lift your spine. Inhale. And exhale. And again, you can do this with your eyes closed and really focus on where your belly button is, so that it rises and falls. And if you're doing this, you're sending mes messages to your brain. This is where my body is. This is where my spine is in space. And especially people with fibromyalgia or people who have been maybe less mobile than they used to be can come back to this regularly. Now open your eyes and lift your left hand forward and straighten the back leg, push the heel out towards the wall and lift. Now this is working your muscles along your leg, on your arms, but especially in your core. So pull your belly button in towards your spine, and then the tips of your hip bones, or what we call the hip bones, pull them towards each other as if they wanted to meet in the middle. And lower. And again, on the other side, lift the arm first, Turn the hand so you're as if you're shaking hands. Lengthen out the back, the other leg, the opposite leg, and lift, pushing the heel towards the wall. And just hold here, and you will wobble. And that's fine. That's helping you find your balance. Pull your belly in. and lower. And then we're going to do the same again, but with our eyes closed this time. So lift the left hand, push out with the heel of the right foot, long straight line. Imagine you're gazing at the mat towards the front of the mat, slightly in front of your hand, but with your eyes closed. And now you'll feel a much bigger wobble. Belly into the spine and lower. And to the other side, right hand forward like you're going to shake hands. See, I'm wobbling. Heel back on the opposite foot. 
left foot, eyes closed, wobble away. If you need, find that's what happens and come back each time. And hands on the left knee to the ground. Now we're going to push up into a down dog. And straight away, find a long straight line in your back, pushing into your hands, pushing into your feet, and lift the right leg towards the ceiling. And you can point the toe, but don't lift the hip. So the hips are still in line, still parallel to the floor. And lift that leg up towards the ceiling. Now, once you've found your position and you feel stable, close your eyes, pull the belly into the spine, back leg, your heel can be on the ground. Focus on keeping the front part of your body stable and still. A long straight line down from your hips all the way down to your wrists. And bring the leg down. And walk your dog a little bit. Release your hands. And we're going to go up to the other side now. So hands on the mat. Up to a down dog. And lift this time the left leg. Long straight line. When you find your stability, then close your eyes and really focus on where you are in space. So keeping your arms straight, back leg with a slight bend in the knee or more of a bend if you need to, to keep your back straight, but really concentrate on where you are in space. And lower. Stretching out your back. And bring your knees to the floor. And come back into a child's pose. I'm going to just breathe here for a second or two. Focus on how your body feels. Now, onto hands and knees, up to a downward dog, and walk your hands back. You need your feet. Then rise up very, very gently. I'm going to come to the middle of the mat, face you. Sorry, disappearing a bit there now. Find stable mountain pose. So again, we discussed this on an earlier video, mountain or just standing is something we do every day, but we don't think about it enough. So concentrate now on the stability of this pose. Your knees are beneath, sorry, your ankles are beneath your hips. Balance the weight between the front and the back of the foot. Your shoulders are more or less above your hips. There's a natural curve to your spine, but the line joining from between your feet to the top of your head is a straight line. And now, bring your hands to your waist. Bring your knee out to the side. All the weight is on the left foot, the standing foot. Bring your foot to your shin, or you can keep it down here, up to your shin. Some people like to bring it all the way up to the thigh, but I don't do that because my hands bruise, or my the inner thigh bruises. Just find your stability here. Um, my balance today is all over the place. I can feel myself wobbling. You might be able to see it. 
and bring your hands here once you're stable. And up. And look up. And come back down. Now bring your feet about a meter and a half apart. Bend your right knee at the side. Your sit on the left heel to bring the right foot, or sorry, on the right heel to bring right foot forward. Bend the front knee. And Raise your hands parallel to the floor, your arms parallel to the floor, bend the front knee and gaze out along your right hand. Now this requires balance as well, but more it requires you to observe your position in space. So your shoulders are above your hips, your hips are more or less parallel to the, front, to the mat. And now come back to center and come back to mountain pose again. Hands down and find your mountain pose. This time maybe close your eyes while you're in mountain pose. And just stand here and find stillness. Weight evenly between the front and the back of the foot. Your body automatically corrects any wobbling. Now open your eyes, transfer all the weight into the opposite leg from last time. Right leg for me, left toes to the mat, then left toes either to your ankle, your shin, and the foot pushing against the shin for stability. Or as I said, you can bring it to the inside of your um, pie, but that causes bruising for me. Now hands in front of your chest. And if you have the stability, bring your hands up overhead and look up. And you will wobble. Even if you don't look as if you're wobbling, there is a wobble as you correct. If there's no wobble at all, try with your eyes closed. Just to find the wobble and make your body work a little bit harder. To find this balance. Now bring your hands back down. Find mountain for a moment. And again, step your feet about a meter and a half apart. Swivel. Oh, I'm going to the other side, swivel on my left heel, point the toes, short end of the mat, hips still parallel to the mat, bend into your left knee and gaze along the right, the left hand. And again, be very aware of where your position is in space. Keep your pelvis neutral and gaze along left hand. And if you repeat this session, this whole class, a few times, try closing your eyes once you get into some of the poses. And then as you get more advanced, close your eyes while you move into the poses. And just see where you end up. Now straighten the front leg, hands to your waist, Back to mountain pose. Come to the back of your mat. Inhale your arms up and over. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Flat back and walk your hands forward. Feel a short down dog and then. Walk your feet to the middle of the mat and come to sit. Straighten your legs, scooch your bum along a little. 
and come into a lying position with your knees bent. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do another little bit on the core and strengthening our legs. So with your heels as close to your bum as they go, with your hands down, lift your hips up towards the ceiling and hold. This is firing your thighs, firing your glutes. Bring your shoulders together, tuck your chin. And hold. Now lower, gently, vertebra by vertebra. We go up one more time. So hands as far from the shoulders as they'll go and lift. So your knees straight above your feet, feet parallel, and hips to the ceiling, belly to the spine, and feel all your muscles firing. And lower. So keeping the knees bent, Bring your arms out to the sides and drop your knees gently to the right. Slowly control with control and turn your, hand, your head to look out past your left hand. Don't just flop here. Keep your core engaged. Belly towards your spine. Two hip bones pulling together. And now on the exhale, bring your knees slowly to the center and inhale. And then on the next exhale, lower them slowly to the left. As you control this movement, you engage your core and turn your head to look out over your right hand. And again, don't flop into this position, but engage. Be aware of where your belly button is, pull it towards your spine. Imagine the two points in your hips. When I say points in your hips, it's not anatomically correct. These points, and imagine pulling them in towards the center. And on an exhale, come back to center slowly. And then Put one foot to either corner of your mat. Bring your hands alongside with your palms facing up. And now you can flop into this pose. Final pose, Shavasana. Now you stay where you are. And we've worked quite a bit in this session. So take a well-deserved rest. And now with your eyes closed, again, become aware of every part of your body. So feel where every part of your body is in relation to the other, to the rest of your body. So you're lying on the floor, you're fully supported. Notice where your feet are. Scan your feet and be aware of where they are. And your lower legs, your knees, and your upper legs. Check in exactly where you think they are. Now your groin, your hips, your abdomen. 
Start briefly on each and acknowledge where they are in space. Feel the connection to the mat. Feel the connection of each part of the body to the next. Now your chest, the back of your ribs are on the mat. Your spine is in contact with the mat. Notice the slight curve in your lower spine where there's less contact. And notice again a slight curve past the ribs where your neck, well, the neck, the vertebrae leave contact with the mat and the back of your head. And your shoulders are in contact with the mat. Your elbows, your wrists. And focus on the parts of the body, the upper part of the body that aren't in contact with the mat. Palm your hands. Front of your wrist. The arms. And locate them in space in relation to the bits that are in contact with the mat. And I just let go of any observation or any focused observation and just relax into the mat. And because it's Friday, I'm going to suggest that if you have the time, you stay and stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer. Fall asleep in Shavasana if it's comfortable. And I'm going to leave you here just to say thank you to everyone who's joined me on this journey in February. I've learned a lot. If anyone looks back at the first few videos, you'll see that my teaching wasn't as confident or as assured as it is today, maybe. Still making mistakes, and I'll go on making mistakes. I'll go on wobbling. And I'll go on learning, and I hope you've learned along with me. And if you want to go back over any of the videos, you know where to find them. Um, YouTube is probably the best place to look at them because they're on a bigger screen. For the most part, some of them are just transferred across from Instagram, but YouTube is better. Visuals. So. If you're, all the links are in my link in profiles. And join me there and keep an eye open. Subscribe if you want to be notified anytime I post a new video. I'll be doing, maybe breaking down some of the poses, making some suggestions for people who are living with long-term conditions, maybe long-term pain chronic conditions. So comment below if you found this class helpful or any of the classes. I'm going to set myself some new challenge at some later point, but for now I'm going to love you and leave you and thank you all so much for joining me for all of these sessions and Au revoir, not goodbye. I'll see you again, hopefully soon. Thank you very much.